or less. I'm gonna tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. Hey, Bola Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we are gonna talk about my bread and butter bolos. What is that? Those are items that I sold on eBay for $35 or less. I'm gonna tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. And a bolo is an item to be on the lookout for. So let's talk about some of my items that I sold on eBay. And the first one, I'm going to say that when I say list it and forget it, like I seriously list it and forget it. This has been listed since December 15th of 2019. And I sold it for a profit. Uh, why do I do that? Because I've already listed the item. The work is done. It's sitting in a tote. There is no reason for me to go and mess with that item again. It's done. It's listed. It will eventually sell. And this is proof. It's 2023. Four years it took to sell. Now, yes, is this the sell-through rate we want? Absolutely not. But a lot of times when I source, I am just buying on the fly. I don't always look everything up. If I can buy something that's cheap for less than a buck, I just buy it. I don't look it up. I don't look at the sell-through rate. I would spend so much time when I'm outsourcing if I was looking everything up. Um, everybody's different. Everybody is different. I am a list it and forget it kind of girl. So uh, this item sold, I want to say probably paid 50 cents for this at a garage sale. I remember getting it and where I got it, surprisingly. But um, it did take a long time to sell. It's Vintage Magic Puzzles, Secret Puzzle Set, Made in Japan by Famous Brands. And did I spell famous wrong or is that how they spell it? Let's see. Nope, F-A-M-U-S. That is the brand. All right, I thought maybe I had a typo there. It sold for $9.74. The buyer was all in with tax and shipping for seventeen fourteen. dollars so I probably turned less than a dollar into $9.74. Not a big money bolo by any means, but hey, it's some nice bread and butter. It just did take a long time to sell. This is a scream mask. And you guys are probably like, why did you sell it so cheap? Well, this thing is trashed. <laughs> it is not in good condition. Um, I got it at a church sale for a dollar. I saw it and, you know, your eyes light up. You're like, yes, a scream mask. It's vintage. I'm going to make big money. And then I flipped it over and I'm looking at it and I'm like, this thing is a hot mess. This is one of the good ones. It's Fun World Division. But you see all of the, um, I'm guessing it got wet and maybe the hood sat on the face and it has all of the black discoloring on it. So it's not in good shape. So I just made sure that I used a lot of photos. It had a rip in the top and I sold it as is. And you can see the eyeball part is coming off right here. I just showed that. And I sold this for $26 plus shipping. Now, if this person can take that and fix that somehow. I don't think they can. I think they were just looking for an inexpensive alternative and $26 was a great price for this. And it sold on October 17th. So I'm guessing probably a Halloween item for someone. These right here are vintage glass reindeer figurines, young deer Christmas frosted and clear. And these came out of my mystery gift box. I'm going to call it a mystery buddy mailbox from Pinky's secondhand store. And I will link her down below. I will also link the video that I did of everything she sent me. She sent me a goodie box and it was full of awesome vintage items. And this was one of the items that she sent me. And these sold pretty quickly, you guys. Um, they are glass and they sold for $22.75 plus shipping. This one here is a Florida Lunker Country Bass Fishing Sew-On Patch. And believe it or not, I got $20 plus shipping for this. This item also took a long time to sell. I listed it September 20th of 2021. So list it and forget it. I think one misconception of people that are new sellers is that everything sells fast. Now, you do have sellers that buy based on sell-through rate. 
and their items probably do sell fast. But when you're buying things like this, that is a patch that is looking for the right buyer, it's going to take a while to sell. I got this for a quarter, turned it into $20, doesn't take up much space, and the buyer paid shipping. So you have to figure out what you want your business model to be. Now, I am over on Whatnot, and I am doing auction style, and I'm selling 100 items in one night sometimes. And that is sell it fast, sell it cheap. And it's a totally different mindset and business model. I didn't think I would like it because I'm such a list it and forget it, sell it for a higher price. And I absolutely love it. So if you guys want to check out Whatnot, I do have some of my live shows that are available for viewing under uh, the live tab on my YouTube channel. So you can check out how it works. And if you want to join Whatnot to be a buyer, there's a link down below. You can get $15 to shop with that. That's my referral link. And if you watch that and you decide you want to sell, there's a referral link down below for that that will uh, let Whatnot know that I referred you and it could help you get accepted quicker. This is an Aurora puppet. It is a lion hand puppet. And I got this at a garage sale for 50 cents, sold it for $11.70 plus shipping. This is a Mead Cambridge updated weekly calendar planner. And it is a refill. I did put the item number in there. And I got some of these refills from an estate sale really, really cheap. And I wasn't sure how they would do. But this one right here, I took a best offer of $17 and the buyer paid shipping for that. And I have one left. This again is something that you're going to have to wait on the right buyer because this is a vintage planner and it's from the 90s. So not everybody still has a planner from the 90s, right? So you have to wait on the right buyer, but you can demand a little more for your item because there's not a whole lot of these available that are new old stock. This is a Spin Master Paw Patrol Sea Patroller Scuba scuba diver boy and this here sold for $12 best offer and the buyer paid shipping and I got him out of the Goodwill bins so it is the action figure and his vehicle the next item is this for real friends daisy orange tabby cat these are the ones that are animated that purr and do things tested and working this one I don't remember where I got it I didn't write it down for some reason but I sold it for $12.40 and the buyer paid shipping the next item is this Fisher Price Little People Going Camping. Google Lens is how I looked this up. And I got this at the Goodwill Bins. Not a big money bolo by any means. I sold this for $6.20 plus shipping. But I just felt like it was a great item that somebody was going to be looking for to complete their set. And it is super cute. It's little s'mores and a hot dog and a fire pit. So um, yeah, I probably had a quarter, maybe 50 cents in that. Talk about a long time. 2019, these Santa die cuts have been listed since 2019. And they are by Winslow Papers. And ephemera maybe would have been a good word to put in the title. I'm not sure, but I didn't. And maybe my keywords in the title just weren't the best. But it took a long time to sell. I think they're really cool. Uh, I don't even remember where I got it or what I paid for it. They've been listed that long. But I sold it for $6.69 plus shipping. This right here is a vintage Snoopy Woodstock Hallmark Christmas Honeycomb Tree Party Favors. So anything that's vintage Hallmark, I always pick up. Some of it does better than others. This happened to sell for a best offer of $12 and the buyer paid shipping. And I got it at a garage sale for $1. This is a Halloween Bath and Body Works candle. If you guys have not seen my Bolo candle, my Bolo category candle video, oh my goodness, check it out. Some candles go for hundreds of dollars. This, I believe, is a discontinued scent. I got it at a garage sale for $3, sold it for $27.90 plus shipping. Here is a Lego Disney Princess Arendelle Castle and I got this at a garage sale for $2.50 and sold it for $24.80 plus shipping. Here is a Victoria's Secret brawl. I used to do only clothing, so retail arbitrage. This has been listed since 2020, but if I had to guess, that was a relist, meaning that I had it listed and I ended the listing and did sell similar back in 2020 because I bought these a long, long time ago. 
And I ended up taking a best offer of $8 plus shipping on this. I bought them at a discount store. I probably bought 500 of these brawls. And um, I'm going to say anywhere from a dollar to $3 a piece. The next item is this 2005 SpongeBob SquarePants figure stamp. It's a stamp, guys, not anything big. These are the things that I like to pick up at the Goodwill bins. This one has some damage you can see right there. And I still sold it for a best offer of $7 plus shipping. These little toys that are retired and hard to find, people will pay up for them. Now, to you, you're thinking $7.80, that's not worth my time. I'm not going to list something like that. But I enjoy listing small toys. That's just one thing that I like to source and sell. They're easy to list, easy to ship, easy to find, cheap. Um, like I said, I got it at the bins, probably have a quarter in it. And the buyer was all in for $13.72 for this stamp. Here is a Bath & Body Works stuffed plush lamb, sheep, lammy, cream, rare, gray, 2005. I'm sorry, 2009. It is retired. It's Bath and Body Works. So I went a little high on this one and listed it for 37, put it on sale, sold it for a best offer of $20 plus shipping. And I got this one free. So I'm guessing this one came from uh, the gal that reached out to me and asked me to come and take all of the plush away. And I will link her eBay store down below in the description and you guys can check her out. Uh, she just gave me a bunch of pre free plush. Um, I don't know if you guys remember that story or not, but so, so sweet of her. The next item is this Insco Jim Shore Heartwood Creek Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus ornament, new with tags. This one I got at the Goodwill Benz. I could not believe it. It was in the original styrofoam. I popped open that styrofoam and I saw new with tags Jim Shore. Are you kidding me? And I was like, yes, please. Goodwill Benz, you guys, $26. I sold that plus shipping. Some gym shore goes for big money. Always look it up. This one sold really fast. It is Avon. It's a Christmas tree brooch. And another, um, there are certain Avon brooches that go for big money. And I have a whole video on Avon brooches to be on the lookout for. This one, when I tell you it sold fast, I'm, I'm going to say within a couple weeks. And it is a special... Um, fourth annual here let me show you right here Avon 2007 fourth annual so this may have been something that they gave to Avon distributors or people that worked for Avon I'm not 100% sure or maybe it was in the catalog and it was only available you know for a limited time because it is signed on the back so I looked up comps and was pleasantly surprised on that I was just curious because I used to sell Avon and when I looked it up I was like, wow, these actually go for good money. And they, I do have some other ones and they go for decent money as well. Not as high as this one. I think this one is more special because it has all of the glass and the rhinestones, but sold it for $34.10 plus shipping. And that was my sale price, my full asking sale price. This blanket, I got a bunch of these, not a bunch. I got three of them at an estate sale and I had it listed for 26 and it, my nobody's knocking down my door to buy these. So somebody offered me 15. So I'm like, yeah, I'll take your $15 offer. I probably had a dollar or less than this. And I have two more available. So if anybody's looking for a blanket, I will take $15 for this. Just make me an offer. <laughs> my eBay store is always linked down in the description. And I do have buy one, get one 25% off with Bolo coupon. And there is also another Bolo Buddies coupon down in the description for viewers if you guys want to check that out. And that's just for my eBay store. The next item is this vintage caboodle. It's um, a caboodle. It's a travel case, a makeup case. And these are nostalgic. People look for these because they had them when they were kids. And they're just a fun, cool item. And this one sold for a best offer of $35 and the buyer paid shipping. And the last item is. Um, uh, nope, I'm sorry. I've got two more. This is the Butterbeans Cafe. I did do a shorts video on this because number one, the item is just a small toy. And look, it has writing ink on the back of the wing. So it's not in good condition. And I still sold this for $9.30 and the buyer paid shipping. Now, why on earth would somebody buy this? Well, it's a harder to find toy. Um, I don't think it's a very common cartoon. So there was probably probably limited production on these. 
but it sold for $9.30. The buyer paid shipping. They were all in for $15.53 for this damaged little toy. And I dug that out of the bins, very lightweight, probably 25 cents or less in it. David's bridal dress. Um, I bought a whole bunch of these retail arbitrage. Would I do it again? No way. Have I made money? Yes, absolutely. But um, putting them on the mannequin, ah. Eh. And some of them I paid, you know, $10 for. Some of them I paid $15 for. Some of them I got for five. So retail arbitrage, you're going to pay a little more for your items. What I did discover was when I first listed them, they were current stock. So they sold more quickly. Now I'm just kind of hanging on to them and waiting on them to sell. The plus size items do do better than the uh, items that are smaller sizes. I have noticed that. But you can see this is an old listing. I've got it on my floor. But uh, yeah, so you can retail arbitrage online, but be selective and look for things that have a good sell through rate because I probably bought 150 of those dresses, not that specific style, but all different styles. And I'm weeding them out. They're selling, they're selling, they're selling, but they're great for prom and homecoming. And, um, but they are actually bridesmaids dresses. So another problem with dresses is you get a lot of returns for size. That's why I like to sell them on Poshmark and Mercari because there are no returns over there. So if somebody gets it and they try it on and they don't like it, their option is to resell it instead of returning it to me where I'm going to get it back and I'm going to have to make sure there's not deodorant on it and that it wasn't worn and the tag was tucked in because people do do that. Um, but yeah, probably wouldn't do that again. Not, not a good, not a good choice. Still trying to sell those. Um, let's see. Poshmark and Mercari, no returns. Love it. So check out those platforms. If you're not selling on them, I use List Perfectly to cross post my items over there. There is a link down below that'll show you how to use List Perfectly. You can get 30% off your first month if you watch that video and you decide it's something you want to try. 30% uh, off of List Perfectly with referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word at your little checkout. And Mercari Poshmark, if you join with my referral link Poshmark, you're going to get $10 to shop. Mercari is awesome. You're going to get $10 to shop when you join with my referral link and another $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of stuff on Mercari. So check those links out down below. I do have some other referral links of things I use. Um, those are actually things that I use, you guys. So check them out. And most of those, you do get something for using them, like a discount code or something like that. So thank you so much for being here. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And as always, thanks for watching.